so hello everyone and this is going to be a simple guide on how we can install AMD FSR 3.1.3 frame generation using the OptiScaler mode and in case you don't know that FSR 3.1.3 is the latest and the last version of FSR 3 being released by AMD so it has the best image quality and performance of course and this guide is going to be universal it means it's not just for a specific game like Plague Tale and this mode is going to work on almost every new game being released and even on older games and the only two conditions you need to install this mode on your game is that the game should be running on DirectX 12 DX12 API and it should have FSR or DLSS inside the game's graphics settings and most of the new games being released runs on DX12 and has DLSS or FSR inside the game settings so it means it's going to work on most of the new games and OptiScaler is currently the most compatible FSR 3 mode you can find and also this mode is going to work on every GPU out there, AMD, Intel, Nvidia, no matter which. So that's all. Now let's get straight to the point and install the mode in your game. So I'm going to leave the direct download link in the description of this video to download the mode. And I will also leave the official link to the GitHub page of the mode. So you can check and keep up with the latest update in future. So simply download the mode. And now it will be in a zip format like this. So first of all, we have to extract it use winrar or 7zip to extract the zip file simply extract here and after this these are all the files we got from the mode after extracting it so simply copy each and every file in folder from here copy and now open the main game folder whichever game you are trying to install the mode open the main folder of that game so now inside the main folder of your game and if you don't know that what is the main game folder so it basically wherever the exe is located of your game like here plague tale requiem exe so this is going to be the main folder where we have to paste our copied mode files and in some other engine games the the main exe is inside binaries win64 like this so always make sure that wherever you are pasting there should be the main exe and you are good to go simply paste the copied files now if it asks replace the files through the destination and now we have pasted the mode now look for the optiscaler setup dot bat click here and here there's nothing confusing just simply here are many options one to seven so there are various different options to install the mode but in most of the cases the first option dxgi or dll works the best in most of the games but in some case it might not work so you can always uninstall the mode and try a different version but always try the first one first because the DXGI or DLL works the best in most of the games and most of the cases so I'm going to select one and now here it's very important are you using an NVIDIA GPU or AMD Intel GPU so if you have an AMD or an Intel GPU make sure to select the first option here and if you have an NVIDIA graphic card use the second option so as I have an NVIDIA GPU select second okay and now that's all mode have been installed successfully click OK and now we are done now we can launch our game and activate the frame generation there so now inside the game after installing the mode simply head over to the graphics settings of your game and scroll until you see the NVIDIA DLSS option and now the NVIDIA DLSS will be available to use after installing the mode regardless of the GPU and so simply open the DLSS and set it to quality mode make sure to select the DLSS on quality and do not use FSR or any other thing select DLSS only to make the mode work so once the DLSS is enabled and set to quality mode now inside the game I am going to enable my FPS counter so now you can see on the FPS counter we are getting 29 30 FPS because the frame generation is not yet activated so we have to press the insert key on your keyboard and if you are on laptop press the FN plus insert key to open the menu to uh, to activate the frame generation so I press the insert key and now here in this menu we have to change some settings like on top from DLSS select AMD FSR 3 and first click apply so it will basically apply the FSR 3.1.3 in the game we have already got a little bit of FPS boost but now we have to click here frame generation opti.fg and here simply click on FG activate click here and this will basically enable the frame generation and now we are getting 60 fps we have doubled the fps and also click on fg hud fix it's important it's basically uh, prevents the on screen text from going on glitching so make sure to enable the hud fix and also click on fg allow async it sometimes gives more performance in some cases so make sure to enable these three options fg activate hud fix and allow async and that's all press the insert key again to close the menu and here we are we are getting 60 
from 30 to 60 fps and it's smooth no problem here and also no glitching on the screen it's working perfectly Look fine in some cases there might be uh, some glitching on the text on the screen even after enabling the hud fix so that's all in my opinion the mode is now working very fine but let's just say the mode did not work in your case in your game so what you can do so let's say that the mode did not work in your specific game it crashed or it showed any error or anything like that so simply go inside the main folder again where you installed the mode previously and here you will find the remove optiscaler.bat open this bat file and simply click y hit enter and this will basically going to remove the frame generation mode we installed so now your game is again free and now try installing the mode again and this time use different options from the installing menu like we selected the first here dxgil you can try installing with different options and see if any one of them works in your game and some other general fixes like always keep your gpu drivers and windows up to date to remain out of problems and you can also join our discord server you can find the link in the description box to find more help and you can always leave your queries in comment box i will reply as fast as i can and that's all from this video i try to keep it simple as i can and i hope this will be helpful like the video subscribe to the channel and that's all thanks for watching and bye